Good afternoon, Pismo Beach. I'm Jim Lewis, and I have the privilege of serving as your city manager. It's Monday, April 6th, and we just wanted to share a few updates with you on the status of our community as we come together to fight COVID-19. Additionally, today, I wanted to have a brief interview with our chief of police, Jake Miller, and he's going to share with you his thoughts on how we keep our community safe and secure during these times. So first of all, let me assure you, all of our city employees are well, and we continue to provide all essential services. So your law enforcement, fire, water, wastewater, and planning and building can all function during this time. You can jump to our city's website at pismobeach.org to learn how to connect to those services, but we continue to serve the community, and we're pleased to do so. I hope you're well, and I really encourage you to maintain physical distance. We're really making progress as we keep separated from each other to try and flatten the curve and slow the spread of the virus. And I'm encouraged at numbers we're seeing today and we have to keep it up more than ever. This is the time to really stay home as much as you can. Only go out to get essential things that you need or some brief exercise. I'm a dad, I have little kids. This means even no play dates with the neighbor's kids. We have to be with our immediate family that we live with as we battle this. I'm very hopeful if we can keep this up through April, we may see some different results and, and a way of life in May, but we really need to keep our uh, chin and, and head up in this as we, we work through this and maintain physical distance. We're making progress and I thank our community. I really thank you for doing your very best to, to keep in compliance with the county's shelter at home order. Now you may wonder, what can you do during these times? What should you do? How are we keeping our community safe? And I wanna introduce a, a friend and colleague of mine, Chief Jake Miller. He's been our chief for nearly six years and he's doing an outstanding job leading our men and women in blue, the Pismo Beach Police Department, as we work through these very different times. Chief Miller, welcome. Hi, good afternoon, Jim. Thanks very much. You bet. Let me ask you a few questions that I've heard as I walk around the community. And uh, one of those is, how have we modified service for our police department to ensure that we're keeping our community safe? Well, I tell you, it's a much different time and is entirely unprecedented. So, you know, as soon as the, the virus caught on and, and we put some plans together, the first thing we thought about is how can we keep the men and women of the Pismo Beach Police Department out in the neighborhoods to make people feel safe and be there in case they need us. So it kind of started at home first. You know, we came up with some disinfecting ideas, you know, foot baths and things like that to try to keep the virus away from the station and out of our cars. And then we put in uh, really a simple philosophy that we wanted to stay mobile, we wanted to stay available, and we wanted to stay highly visible and in the neighborhoods and in the downtown core and the business community across the city. And that's very important because now it's almost like every day is an early Sunday morning out there in town, which means that folks are doing a great job of sheltering in home. And we, we really appreciate that because our goal now is to stay in your neighborhoods because we know as you folks stay in your homes, uh, you're going to want to see us. Uh, so don't hesitate to wave to us. That's our primary job is to be in your neighborhoods and get a wave here and there. And then, of course, we have to protect the downtown stores that are closed. And so uh, constant patrolling is kind of the mode we're in right now. Um, we're reacting to the calls for service that we still get and should get. Um, again, medical aids and, and you, they still require fast professional service and we want to make sure that we get to those as well as crimes in progress so we are getting to those now you're probably wondering how are calls for service and so we're seeing about a 20 percent drop in calls for service and i think a lot of that is because you folks are all home and you're kind of securing your own premises even though we're still in the neighborhoods and so we like to see that drop because we're using that extra time to be out in your neighborhoods and out in the commercial districts, making sure people are secure and safe. Thank you, Chief. You know, as I've been out in the community myself, just quickly to see how projects are doing or to uh, get a bite of takeout from one of our businesses, I have seen your cars and I really appreciate the coverage. It's good to see that you're doing a great job keeping us uh, safe. Let me ask you about the beach. You know, we, the city council and I met and we've been, I really appreciate the leadership of our city council, by the way, and um, we've, they've really been engaged and we talked a lot about the beach and, and how important it was to try and keep it open, uh, at least for people to go for a walk. 
to be compliant with the county's order and the governor's order if they wanted to get some exercise. And so I know you've been spending time keeping an eye on things down there. What can people do and what is going on with the beach? Well, and just to reiterate what you said, you know, from the city council down through your office and the emergency operations center, you know, we realize that the beach is one of those areas that folks get their exercise, they get good mental health, they get out and about. And so the last thing we want to do is, is close that beach. And so as long as we can see folks using it, uh, for a short walk or for some exercise and then having to shelter back, you know, in home until tomorrow when you, you know, come back out, get some exercise on the beach again. We're hoping to get through this without having to write a single violation on, on the order and just kind of remind folks that we can keep this beach open as long as you utilize it for its purpose, which right now is to get some exercise, walk the dog, and then get back home. Hey, I really appreciate that perspective. I know some beaches have had to close down south, and I think we're really trying to give our community the benefit of the doubt that they'll do the right thing and they'll keep distanced. And so to our community, I just want to share, we're trusting you to uh, follow these rules and be good citizens and keep in line with the county and state orders. And so that really means you need to do your exercise, as the chief said, and then, and then head out and make sure you're keeping physical distance. If we don't see that behavior, it'd be something the council and I would have to discuss again if the beach is able to stay open or not. Chief, I really appreciate you trying to keep people apart and make sure we're, we're having some order down there. Hey, you're doing a great job, as I said. And I was just curious, what are you telling the officers to tell people as they're out in the community? Is there any messaging that you're asking for the officers to share with people? You know, it's much like the message that you and I are having right now, Jim. You know, we're, we're trying, we, we understand that this is a difficult time for a lot of folks. Um, we're, we're trying to stay out, and we're, but at least we're, we're getting out. And we realize that, that right now, that's almost a privilege, you know, that, that we get to go out and we get to see people. We're, you know, we're in the community. And so we understand that, that folks are going to get frustrated. Uh, their way of life has been uh, heavily altered. Uh, through this. And so, you know, compassion on both sides, um, you know, we're all going through this together. And as long as we, we stay to the order and hopefully get through this as quickly as possible and keep folks as healthy as possible, which is really the key. So, you know, kind of the word out to the troops is, you know, watch, watch for the social distancing, you know, respond to calls as needed, but stay out there, keep it moving, appreciate the fact that people are going through some tough times and, and be compassionate about that. And, and I think they are. I mean, they understand it too. They're seeing it in their families all across this nation. And so um, just a quick reminder, I think helps a lot. And, and to let folks know that we're in this with them and, and we're just here to, to keep reminding them. And, and we're hoping that's as far as it has to go. I think that's great. Hey, now, I, I know our business community has really done a good job trying to walk the line between who can be open as essential and not. And I appreciate your early enforcement there. If people see something happening that they think is not consistent with the county and state orders to shelter at home, uh, let me ask you, what, what, do, what do they do? And if they see a large group together, what should they do? Well, we'd like them to call us at 805-773-2208, which is our business line. As soon as we heard that uh, complaint lines were going to be set up statewide, countywide, we want to make sure that we're getting to our folks. We'd like you to call that business number so that we can get out there and, and talk it through with our own residents and our own businesses. That's great. Hey, let me ask you one last thing. It's unfortunate in times of crisis like that, where times where people are hurting and maybe just there's a lot of uncertainty. There are those people who still try and do bad things. And uh, we've been reading about uh, some potential scams regarding the refunds that may come from the federal government or uh, other things you should try, or maybe if you do this, your payment will come quicker. Uh, now we know those are scams, but can you speak to our community about how they can keep themselves safe and, and not fall prey to one of these? You bet. First and foremost, whether it's during the COVID or not, if anybody ever calls you and starts asking for account information or personal information, you do not want to give it to them. Uh, especially this time of year where the IRS scams start picking up. Uh, they will, if the IRS wants to get a hold of you, they'll get a hold of you usually by mail and then by a, a personal contact. Uh, so any calls that you get, if you think that they're suspicious in nature, give us a call, let us know. We log those and then we talk to our federal partners about that. If for some reason uh, 
you thought it was valid and got yourself in a situation where you gave out an account number or became a victim of something, we actually take those reports and then we work in partnership with those federal agencies. So the really the main message is do not give out your personal information nor your account information over the telephone at any time unless you're absolutely certain uh, you know where it's going. So don't give them the information, call us, let us make an incident of that, and then we can get that information where it needs to go. That's great. Well, thank you, Chief Miller, for supporting our community and working with uh, the men and women over there at the Pismo Beach Police Department to keep us safe. These are challenging times, and I appreciate your service. Absolutely. And thank you for this opportunity. Um, anytime we can, you know, communicate to our community in a better way. And, you know, we're learning all this Zoom stuff and video stuff because usually you and I are at a table together. So all right. we're, we're, we're all getting used to this new way of doing business. For sure. Well, thank you, Chief. You so back to the community, I would just share that we really need you to continue to keep your physical distance, continue to be uh, the very best you can be. We're almost there. We're, we're, we're definitely uh, working through this. And again, know your city services are, are working. We're operating. We're keeping you safe. If you have any uh, concerns about anything, you can always feel free to give me an email, uh, jlewis at pismobeach.org. Uh, and I'll be happy to try and direct your concern or your question uh, best I can. So on behalf of the city council, we hope you stay safe, be well, and uh, take care of yourself during these challenging times. And uh, I know that we'll all be back together as a community soon. Thank you.